Hello everyone, welcome to Skill Education and Learning Forum. In the today's video, we are going to discuss operations that are performed in sheet metal working. In sheet metal working, the sheet metal is placed between punch and die. When the punch is pressed against sheet metal, there is plastic deformation at the edge initially. When this plastic deformation propagates inside the thickness, crack occurs at the cutting edge which propagates as the punch descends further to cut the material apart. In general, sheet metal operations are shearing, cutting off, parting, blanking, punching, notching, slitting, lancing, nibbling, trimming, bending, drawing, embossing and piercing. Let's discuss one by one. The first operation is shearing. In shearing, sheet metal is cut to form an edge on workpiece. It is shown in figure. To understand shearing, consider example of scissor, which cuts paper in two pieces. In slide, there is industrial shearing machine is shown. The next operation is cutting off. In this operation, the workpiece is cut into two pieces by shearing as per required shape. The next is parting. In parting, two pieces at a distance apart are cut down by removing scrap in between them. Next is blanking. In blanking, a blank of workpiece is cut down by leaving scrap outer sheet metal. The material which is cut down is called as blank which is required workpiece. Hence this operation is called as blanking. The next operation is punching. Generally it is named for producing circular holes. The material punched out is scrap while the sheet metal with hole is required workpiece. The next operation is notching. In this operation, material is removed from edge of the sheet metal as shown in figure. The shape of notch varies as per requirement, but basically the notch is at the edge. A variety of notches can be seen in the slide. The next operation is slitting. Slitting means making small slits in sheet metal as shown in figure. Here sheet is not cut apart so here no scrap is produced. You can see slitting operation in the image. The next operation is lancing. In this operation the sheet metal is not cut apart but a cut of small length is produced through it and it is bent to make opening through the sheet. The lancing operation can be seen in the slide. The next operation is nibbling. Nibbling is cutting any simple to complex shape from sheet metal as shown in figure. Here variety of shapes can be cut as per requirement. A nibbling machine is shown in the figure. The next operation is trimming. Trimming is cutting away excess material from sheet which is already formed. Here the extra material is cut down. Here also from this blank, this extra material is cut down to form this disc. It is trimming. The next operation is bending. In bending, one side of metal is under tensile stress while the other is under compressive. A force is applied beyond elastic limit but below ultimate strength. Bending can be done at right angle or in any required angle. Bending could be 
एंगल बेंडिंग रोल बेंडिंग और सीमिंग एक्सेट्रा कॉमन बेंडिंग ऑपरेशन इज शोन इन द फिगर द नेक्स्ट ऑपरेशन इज ड्रॉइंग इन दिस ऑपरेशन पंच इज प्रेस्ड अगेंस्ट अ डाई विच ऑन विच शीट मेटल इज हेल्ड द शीट मेटल फ्लोज प्लास्टिकली इन द क्लियरेंस बिटवीन द पंच एंड डाई टू फॉर्म a thin walled vessel as shown in figure you can see the drawing operation here the next operation is embossing in this operation a shape or figure or number is produced on sheet metal forming impression on sheet metal the embossing is done on sheet metal is shown in figure the next operation is piercing piercing is punching a small hole having diameter less than thickness it is similar to punching the next operation is perforating perforating means producing multiple holes close together generally other than round shape in a sheet perforating operation is shown in figure and variety of perforated shapes can be produced by this method so these are common sheet metal operations if you have any question please comment in comment section below thank you please subscribe to skill education and learning forum channel